Attention, duelists! If you could all stop staring at my hair for a moment. We are back with another video. Good Sunday morning, guys. We are back with it. And uh, today we've got kind of a crazy video that came from OCG. Uh, this is from Japan. And uh, this is from some kind of a Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I don't know if it was like necessarily a press conference, but they were making some big announcements. What you're about to see could change the landscape of how we play Yu-Gi-Oh! in the future. Now, it's important to point out that they've done something like this before with no progress. But now, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links has possibly evolved. And what you're watching right now, I'll leave a link for in the description. This is from their, uh, their OCG Summit that happened overnight. This is a virtual reality Yu-Gi-Oh game. This is something that I've been saying for years needs to happen with the uh, addition of virtual reality. Um, I've never understood why we haven't been able to be put in the shoes of the duelists themselves, especially with virtual technology like this. And now this experiment, as they're calling it with Duel Links, is basically based on uh, the creation of Seto Kaiba in the Duel Links game. Um, and everything you're seeing here is what this guy in the top right, uh, this person up here, is seeing in their... Uh, I'm not really sure what system that is they're using, that the Oculus or something. I'm not 100% sure. But this is what they're seeing, and this basically puts you in the driver's seat as a duelist in this virtual reality world. Now, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit uh, where he's on this, like, desert plane, and then uh, Dark Magician Girl pops up here. This is pretty rad. Uh, Dark Magician Girl is going to be summoned to the field, and this looks freaking sweet, man. The only issue I'm having, I mean, look how amazing this looks. It looks so freaking badass. The only issue that I see about this being released on a larger scale, and that the reason that I feel like if they're going to make a, a Yu-Gi-Oh! virtual reality game, it's probably going to have to be Duel Links. Um, I mean, and this is based on the Duel Links game, but I would imagine uh, they're, they're not going to expand it to the normal trading card game or the official card game. Because this looks pretty in, intense. And, and honestly, you're dealing with tens of thousands of cards. But I personally feel like you could simplify a lot of that. Um, you don't have to give a custom anima animation to tens of thousands of cards. Um, there could be a basic action for certain things that happen in the game. But as far as monsters are concerned, I mean, uh, you know, the sky's the limit, honestly. There's no reason... I mean, they're they're pooling resources into, you know, stuff like Master Duel, which is its own format and Rush Duel. And honestly, I think something like this could be expanded to the trading card game, even the, the official card game. This would completely change the way people play Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, in terms of online. Uh, that's why I don't see it necessarily making uh, an appearance for the trading card game um, for a long time because they've clearly got a lot invested in Master Duel. And if you, I, I mean, people would still play Master Duel, but if you had the chance to play a virtual reality Yu-Gi-Oh game or, you know, a virtual trading card game with its own, you know, set like ban lists and stuff like that, like personally, I'm, I've been waiting for Yu-Gi-Oh! Virtual Reality for a long time. Um, they set the tone early on in their games. Personally, I'm a big fan of the PlayStation 2 games. Uh, stuff like, you know, False Bound Kingdom. Um, the, even like the the game the GameCube games as well. Uh, Dual Mon or Capsule Monsters Coliseum is a really great one. That's the one I'm actually currently playing. But check out the Blue Eyes White Dragon here, man. This looks insane. Um... This is all coming from the uh, Konami, the Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG official YouTube. And um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to leave a link in the bottom 
where you guys can check out this uh, full video. But uh, this looks really cool, man. And they also made some other announcements as well. Uh, it looks like there's going to be some kind of a game collection, like the World Championships, like the old Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games that might be making their way to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so that's something to keep an eye out for uh, because that looks really cool. Um, but yeah, here's the burst stream of destruction here. Um, and uh, yeah, that that so they're like pooling those games together and I think they're making it a collection. Uh, according to this presser that you can watch in the link below, uh, it looks like they're pulling it together and it's going to be on Nintendo Switch would be, would be awesome. Um, cause I've been saying for a while, like Nintendo Switch needs to get those Yu-Gi-Oh games. By the way, Sega, if you're listening, we need NBA Jam, please. Okay. Just saying, uh, NBA Jam needs to be on the Sega emulator, but yeah, there's Dark Magician. I mean, it looks pretty freaking rad, man. Even if it's dual links, that's a start. That's somewhere. Um, yep. There's the Pharaoh. So I don't know. Check this full video out, guys. It's going to be in the link below. Let me know what you think. If you think this is actually going to be something they're going to pursue, Yu-Gi-Oh! Virtual Reality, I would love this, man. This would be freaking dope. I've been waiting years for this. It would completely change the landscape, especially after they just announced that there's going to be quite possibly a anime based off the arcs and the characters so let me know what you think in the comment section guys leave a thumbs up also make sure to uh, check out the channel tomorrow we're gonna have a box opening of phantom nightmare and we're gonna be starting giveaways up again so we want you to be a part of it appreciate you guys the support make sure to like comment and subscribe ring that notification bell and we'll be back tomorrow with the box opening see you then